Number 7. Eric Romero, the young man with amazing ball control and neon cleats, wears number 7 for Freedom High School. The number 7 has many different meanings to many different people, but for most, number 7 is a lucky number. It's a number Eric Romero and his friends reference often and fitting for Eric to wear, because most definitely, Romero is lucky. Well, like something positive, we always just say 7, so this, this season I got an opportunity to take that number. Eric Romero isn't lucky because he's a gifted player, or because he gets good grades, or anything a normal teenager experiences. Romero is lucky because he's on the field at all. Three years ago, before his freshman season, Eric developed horrible headaches, blurry vision, and eventually developed spells where his vision left him completely, causing episodes of panic where Eric was fully conscious but unable to see. It was a lot of like going into hospital and getting checked, MRIs and CAT scans and all that kind of stuff. What doctors discovered shocked the Romero family. Eric was found to have multiple small tumors in the back of his head, in the skin layer outside the brain. When I found out, I, 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 was, I was scared. I, what I wanted to happen was for me to be okay, but I knew that, you know, there's that slight possibility that something could go wrong. But after being tested and retested, the tumors in the back of Eric's skull were found to be non-cancerous and would not need to be removed. Romero would have to quit playing sports though, as doctors were afraid a bad head injury in the area of the tumors would complicate the matter. You know, going through what he's going through, I can't imagine anything just tougher than that. So, kind of me as a person, I, I, I look at someone like Eric and I realize, you know, all these little problems that we deal with and compared to his, it's, it's nothing. After a year on the sidelines, the urge to play was too great for Eric. After learning how to manage his health and more than enough convincing his parents, Doctors medically cleared Romero to play last season, and now he's a central piece on the varsity squad. At some point, when like when I found out, I think that I felt like I couldn't. What if I could never play again? Like I just, it, it crushed me. But now Eric Romero streaks up and down the field. He's aware of his health situation, but still plays aggressively, telling us, "Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do." And so far, the number seven on Eric's back keeps him safe keeps him healthy. He's out there, uh, I think, risking a lot every time he's out there in the game. And him wearing that number seven, I guess, is sort of like that, you know, luck is with him, you know. You know, he never gave up. He never gave up. And now he's, uh, I'm sure at one point in time, he might have thought that I'm never going to play this game again. But he's out here, and I hope that he inspires other athletes to just never give up and, and be determined. Eric Romero wears number seven. And lucky or not, he's back on the field wearing neon shoes and causing headaches for opponents, just the way he likes it.